today's lesson is on addition and subtraction rules. So all of our patterns today are going to be using addition and subtraction. Today we're going to be using a couple of new terms. The first one is called an input. The second one is an output. I will be using just in and out at times to save myself a little bit of room. So whenever I say in or out, I really mean input or output. We're also going to be using tables today a lot to help us stay organized. And on one part of our table is going to be the input. And we're going to be using variables and algebra today. So we'll be using x and y as our variables. You can use any letter but we're going to use our most common ones of x and y. So the first part of our table is going to be our input of x, and the second part is going to be our output, which we're going to use y. So if I have this algebraic equation of x plus 2 equals y, we're going to try and pick some numbers here in our table. So we can pick anything for x to be. We could pick 1,487,245. We can pick 3. We can pick 297. We can pick anything. To keep it simple, I'm going to pick things in the 1s or 10s. Um, so I'm going to pick 2, 4, 6, and 8. But we could put anything in to our input. And then we're going to see what happens with these numbers if we put them in for x. So over there with our equation, if I put my first number of 2 in for x, we're going to see what happens. Remember, I could be picking any numbers I want, but we're going to use 2. So if I put 2 in for x and then do plus 2, what is y going to be? Well, 2 plus 2 is... 4. So if I put in a 2, I get out a 4. Okay, so let's try our second number that I picked. It was a 4. Remember, you could pick any number you wanted. So I put a 4 in for x, and I'm adding plus 2. So 4 plus 2 equals 6. So let's put 6 in our table. My next number I picked to put in was a 6. So 6 in for x plus 2 equals 8. Put 8 in our table. And our last number I picked was an 8. So 8 plus 2 equals 10. And 10. Remember, I could have picked any number I wanted to to put in, and we see what we get out. Most of the time today you're going to be doing the opposite. They're going to have the table already done, and you need to figure out what the equation is. So, right here, if they put in 1, they got out 4. So we're going to be looking for a pattern. To find a pattern, we obviously need more than just one number to put in. So let's put in another number. We put in 2, and then we get an output of 5. We put in 3, we get out 6. We put in 4, we get out 7. We put in 5, we get out 8. So hopefully now you're able to see a little bit of a pattern. So whatever we put in, what we get out is bigger. So we know, since this is about addition and subtraction rules, we know if the number is greater, they must have used addition. So what did they add to 1 to be able to get the output of 4? So 1 plus 3 equals 4. Let's see if we can find the pattern. Let's see if it continues. So 2 plus what equals 5? Once again, it's 3. 
So it looks like we've got a pattern here, but let's make sure we go through all of them. So 3 plus what equals 6? Still 3. 4 plus what equals 7? 3. Looks like we have found a pattern. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So this time, we're going to need to write the equation. So we have our x, and whatever we put in for x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1,237, whatever we put in for x, what are we doing to it? We are adding 3. And then that's going to equal our output of y. So our equation is x plus 3 equals y. Okay. This next one I want you to try along with me. So go ahead and draw this in your notebook. Try and leave room that you can actually put all of input and all of output instead of just in and out. And then label what variable you're going to use next to them. So I always just use x and y. You could use w and z, whatever you want. Okay, then we're going to draw a few different lines. So, if we put in a 12, we get out an 8. If we put in a 9, we get out a 5. 6 and 2, 4 and 0. Let's just leave it at 4 for now. And that should be enough to find our pattern. So, now that we have these, what is our pattern? Well, if we start with a 12, in our input, and we get out an 8. It went down, so our number uh, is less, which means they must have subtracted. So 12 subtract what equals 8? So 12 subtract what is going to be 8? So I know that 12 subtract 4 going to equal 8. So let's keep trying all of our inputs. So 9 subtract what equals 5. Still 4. 6 subtract what equals 2. 4. And 4 subtract what equals 0 is 4. So we found our pattern. Our pattern is we are subtracting 4. So our equation is going to be what? So we have our x. And what are we doing to our x? What's our rule? The rule is whatever x is, we subtract 4. And that will equal y. Okay, we can also draw tables sideways instead of up and down. So we're going to swap it around this time so it's sideways. So we have our input of x first, our output of y second. Same thing, we're going to pick some random numbers for inputs, and we're going to see what outputs we get. So I'm putting in 9, 14, 19, 24, 29. Remember, I could pick anything. And let's see, when I put those numbers in, what numbers I get out. Go ahead and copy this into your notebook if you haven't started already. So make sure you label your input and your output. You can pick any variables you want. I'm sticking with X and Y. So let's see what we get out. 2, 7, and 12. And we're going to need to make an equation, and then we're going to need to finish the table once we found our rule or our pattern. So once again, if we're starting with a 9, if our input's a 9, and we're getting out a 2, we know we must be subtracting. So how much do we subtract? So 9 subtract what equals 2? 
7. So 9 subtract 7 equals 2. Let's look at our next input of 14. We put 14 in, we got 7 out. So once again it went down, so we're subtracting. So what did we subtract from 14 to get 7? 7. Let's see if our pattern continues. 19 subtract to what equals 12? Still 7. So what is our equation going to be? We're going to start with our variable for our input, which I use as an x. So x. And what are we doing to our input? What are we doing to that x? What is our rule? What is our pattern? So our rule is whatever our input is, our x, we're subtracting 7. And that's going to give us our y, our output. So we need to finish our table here. So we have a 24 in our input. So we need to subtract 7, because that's our rule. Whatever is in our input, we're subtracting 7. So 24 subtract 7 is 17. And then our last input is a 29. We need to subtract 7, which is 22. So our rule, our equation is x subtract 7 equals y. So whatever we put in for x, we subtract 7. That's our rule. Okay, here's our next one. We have our input of x, our output of y. Here's our inputs, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. They've given us our first three outputs. We need to write an equation and find the next two numbers. So once again, do this one along with me. So if we start with a 4 and we end with a 15, we know we are adding. So 4 plus what? equals 15. 11. 7 plus what equals 18? 11. 10 plus what equals 21? 11. So, we found our rule. x plus 11 equals y. So use this equation to help finish your table. So if we have a 13 in our input, and we put 13 in for x, 13 plus 11 equals 24, and 16 plus 11 equals 27. Okay, hopefully you're ready to try a couple on your own. So number one, make a table. You can make it sideways like this, you can make it up and down. I'll put a couple examples each way. So our inputs are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our outputs are there below. So when we put in a 1, we got a 3. When we put in a 2, we got a 4. When we put in a 3, we got a 5. So you need to figure out what the equation is. x plus what equals y, or x subtract what equals y. And then you need to complete the table. Go ahead and pause until you are done with this problem. Then start it again to move on to the next one. Okay, problem number two. I'm doing this one up and down. If you want to keep doing them sideways, you can. Or you can copy it down exactly like I have it here. Same thing, you're going to need to write an equation that describes the pattern, and then use the equation to find the next two output numbers. So here's our inputs. 
7, 9, 11, 13, 15. When I put in 7, I get out a 3. When I put in a 9, I get out a 5. When I put in an 11, I get out a 7. So it's going down. We're going to be subtracting on this one. So go ahead and figure out what your equation is and complete that table. Number three, same thing. Write an equation that describes the pattern, then use the equation to find the next two output numbers. I'm going to use a little bit larger, greater numbers. So our inputs are 77, 72, 66, 59, and 51. When we put in 77, we got out 72. When we put in 72, we got out 67. When I put in 66, I got out 61. So go ahead and find the equation and complete that table. Now you've just got one more. Same instructions. Find the equation, then use the equation to find the next two outputs. Bring your notebook to class tomorrow, and if you have any questions, I can help you out.